so I can make sure I hear you through my headset. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. It said I can hear you. Please enter a title. Where? Hi. Hi, everyone. We're starting. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to dive right in. Carolyn is here with me. We may have um, another partner, Dariosh from As God Security, who I interview tomorrow, joining us to talk about Skype rooms. What are they? What are the benefits? What are the different kinds of Skype rooms? Um, the difference between a legacy and a cloud-based Skype room, the risks and advantages of each. And my secret revealed is a uh, Skype command that most of you don't know, secret, <laughs> um, that tells you the difference, how to tell what kind of a Skype room you have or that you are in, even if it's not your own, a slash Skype command. So we're going to dive right in and get started. And uh, I'm going to share my screen. We're going to have a little echo effect before I move the Google Hangout out of the way. Here we go. And we will start. Well, let me make sure I have the right screen shared. Mm -hmm. I want this one shared. Present to everyone. There you go. Okay, let's get started. Those, by the way, are one of my desktops with all my Skype versions and Skype tools on them. slideshow from beginning yay all right now it would be helpful if we had someone letting me know actually i'm going to watch skype um and if somebody could watch the events to let me know if you have comments or questions because i want you to um participate <laughs> i want you to share your thoughts about skype and skype for business and skype rooms and um and uh, ask your questions so um i'm just going to pause for just a moment because i'm going to try to make that available to myself as well oops so hopefully you will see the event right here as opposed to the last one I gave last week on Skype marketing where when you click the play button it opened in a new window you should be able to leave comments here now and also watch it here if that's not the case you can have um, this you can open this so in a new tab and have the event so that you can leave comments thank you Donald thank you Kate thank you Richard Joan, oh my goodness, this is great. Look at all of you. Thank you. So I'm going to watch that in another screen and we'll get started. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> we are starting. Yes. Great. All right, so let's just dive right in. Carolyn, can you tell me, do you see Skype training in a giant Skype logo? I do. I see the beginning of your PowerPoint. And you see the next slide, Skype Room webinar? Yep, it changed. Yay. Like do. <laughs> <laughs> I think we finally have this worked out. Thank you, everyone, for helping. All right, so this is the overview of what I'm going to be talking about. We're going to talk about what a lot of people who use Skype think Skype is. Is Skype just video calling? We're going to talk about how Skype can be scaled to, to so much more than video calling. My mic just moved. Is my sound OK? Yep, just fine. Right. Great. Um, so you can use Skype for business in so many more ways than just video calling. So we're going to go over that. And we're going to talk about Skype communities, which is what I call, uh, or group chats, which is what I 
mean when I say the term Skype room? What is a Skype room? And what are the benefits of Skype rooms? And how do you choose the best type of Skype room for your purposes? Um, prepare to be amazed before um, you go and get one of your own. Let me help you decide the best type of Skype room for you. Let's get together for a strategy session. After this event, we can schedule one. And most, you know, I want to tell you what, what most of you do not even know about Skype room features. And number six, the two types of Skype rooms compared, cloud versus legacy rooms, and how to get one, how to get the best type of room, a legacy room. So here we go. So I would like to see in the chat. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Sean. Yay, it's so great to see you guys. We are live. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Um, how many of you use Skype for video calling and didn't know that there was such a thing as a group chat in Skype or a Skype room, Skype community? Anybody want to leave a comment? Did you think that Skype is just video calling? Did you know you can have a group or community in a Skype room? Do you guys have any thoughts on that? I've run into so many people that think Skype is just video calling. And so here's a nice picture of a video call with Carolyn and I. <laughs> what are the benefits of a Skype room? A community for using Skype for business. There's another example of a video uh, uh, using Skype for maybe a video testimonial, which you will see later on in the presentation. Skype calls are wonderful for business communication, but group instant communication is where Skype for business really shines. Thank you, Dariosh. So what is a Skype room? Now, I'm going to be speaking to those of you that know what a Skype room is. You have one. You're in one. You know what it is. But I've run into so many people that don't even know what it is that I'm going to take a little time to inform them. And who knows? You might actually learn something. <laughs> you did. Okay. Great. I I see Warren says, I knew you could have text communi uh, communities, but not video. Right. You can have video communities, to, uh, uh, conference calls as well, audio or video. But a lot of people don't even know that you can have text or instant message communities, Skype rooms. So I'm going to talk to both of you and your both both types of people, those that know what a Skype room is, um, and I'm going to shock you <laughs> with what you didn't know you have, even those that know what Skype rooms are. And we're going to show people who don't know what a Skype room is, what a Skype room is. So here's what a Skype room might look like. Ads in Skype over in the upper left and all. A Skype room group chat conversation and collaboration is text. And there are so many uses and benefits to it. On the left, you can see my recent tab has some green icons and orange icons, and it's even got some three-headed gray icons. The three-headed gray icons are the Skype rooms in some versions of Skype. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, hang on. We have to mute. There we go. Did Darius join us by chance? No, that was Carolyn. Okay. So we'll continue. So now Skype, room, uh, Skype rooms have, uh, let me go back to that. When you see those three-headed shapes, and they're, sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're white and blue, sometimes they're gray. It depends on the version of Skype that you're in. Um, those are definitely Skype rooms. But Skype has actually made it so that, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So that, let me expand one of these, so that the pictures of Skype rooms, <laughs> I'm hoping that will get bigger. Hold on just a second. Can you see that? 
some of these are Skype rooms. You can sometimes see how many, that there are multiple people, people in these. There's the test 575 people. Uh, 14 people in my support room on C1 Skype. Platinum members, 18. C1 Skype free members, 44. Let me show you some more of these. Um, I think I had that one. Here's some of my social media rooms, uh, health food rooms, 10 people. So the images sometimes are pictures instead of those three-headed people, right? Julie's mindset room. Julie's natural health room with some orange, very visible unread messages. So that though in your recent tab on the sidebar of your Skype, sometimes the images of images of people look just like the images of Skype rooms. So moving right along, what others? Let's talk about the benefits of Skype rooms. Um, what others say? We have to mute there, Carolyn. <laughs> what others say about Skype rooms? And um, I asked in some Skype rooms for them to, for some people to share what. That's right, Darren. What what are the, what they think are some of the benefits of Skype rooms? And the favorite part of this um, sort of Skype room testimonial is that you can get to know people better by constantly talking to them and friendships can be formed. So is absolutely social media. And Dario says, from my business as God, secu as God security, Skype rooms are ideal. I am in the, in the fastest way, I am in the fastest way in touch with my clients no matter where they are on on desktop, on cell phone, on tablet, as soon as I post an alert to the room, all members are notified. Just one ding ding from Skype takes their attention on their on their mobile device. So Skype is mobile marketing. Oh, we have an echo. <laughs> and he also goes on to say, Julie, my security business. Um, for my security business, Skype rooms help me to be in fastest touch with my clients. That's important. To have a clear communication channel with your clients, customers, prospect partners, etc., your team, and quickly inform them of important alerts all at once. In his case, security communications. I will post alerts to Facebook, LinkedIn, and other social media, but usually these posts are lost among tons of other messages, emails. Um, and emails have their own problems. Sometimes they're received with delay, sometimes lost, sometimes not read. Brian says, it's great. It's a great way to keep up with like-minded people in my niche without having to travel to wherever they are at our conferences. And somebody is here who needs to mute. Hey, yay, Dario made it. Wonderful. Carolyn, I guess it must be you because he's muted. <laughs> All right, so what else? Benefits of Skype rooms. What others say about Skype rooms? This was from a Google Plus after my March free webinar on Skype rooms um, where uh, Alex Young posted, this was very cool, links to different points, timestamps that are links. Um, but the message is great. This is what I'm trying to talk about, the benefits of Skype Room for business. Skype Group chats based in uh, Skype instant messaging are efficient and can open up doors. Um, Skype is more than just video. You might think Skype only means video conferencing. Uh, where we're here to say Skype is much, much more than video. If you think Skype is just video or even audio calls, free calls around the world, conferences, multiple people, that's not all it's good for. Yes, that's great, but that's not all. And um, you're going to get to listen to what he says when I ask him. I interviewed him and embedded it in the presentation here. Why Skype rooms are beautiful for business listening. Listen, 
engage segment. Skype uh, lets you get get to really know people in your online community so you can listen and serve their needs in real time. I like the real time. It's super easy to take a conversation private away from a group and all this is great for business, strong community, real time marketing based on based communication on listening and engagement. There are so many other business communication benefits to Skype group chatting. The history, 100% delivery, better than email, fan, and better than Facebook, fantastic instant communication beats most social media platforms such as Facebook. Skype is just better. Can you hear guys? Can you guys hear that? Ah, uh, okay, hold on. Into different let me, communities. Let me start that over. I guess I'm going to have to play through my speakers. Sorry, I thought it would pick up. Hi, Alex Young. Hey, Julie. How are you? I'm good. I want to ask you about why you think Skype rooms are beautiful for business listening. Skype rooms, oh, well, I could speak all day about Skype rooms. They are really pretty much underrated. They are a great way to get into different communities and really get to know people and the personalities in those communities, and not just on a surface level, but really on a deep level over time. And the nice thing is um, you can actually get in touch with them privately, one-on-one, -on -one, depending on the situation and what you plan to speak with them about. And it's not strange because it's not a salesy kind of thing where you're hitting somebody with a private message two hours after speaking with them or even one hour. So it's a long-term sort of play, and it's more natural. It's how things work in the real world, and it sort of reflects itself on Skype because you're going to get to know people, and then when the time is right, you're going to um, be able to connect with them one-on-one, -on -one, and that's appropriate. That's how, the real, that's how real life works, and that's why I like the way Skype uh, reflects that sort of community and it just makes sense. Now I have one more question for you. Real, that's a great answer, by the way. I love it. It's great for engagement, community building, um, and many people don't even know that such a thing exists. So, what would you say to somebody who uh, thinks of Skype just as video call? Well, they're only getting half the story, and they probably think that because of. You know, maybe their cousins and their newborns, and then they Skype and say, "Oh, look at the um, the newborn fresh from the hospital," and, and so that's usually done through Skype video. And while that's great, it really is only half the story because communities are based on Skype rooms, which are all text, and you can send links and um, you can send uh, pictures as well. I believe is that right? Yeah, that's right. Files. Yeah. Yep. So if they think that video is the only part of Skype, they really are only getting a fraction of the story. Skype is a communications powerhouse. Uh, the rooms that Julie and I have been talking about and that we love so much are real, thriving communities. Um, it sort of reminds me of the show Cheers, uh, where it says you want to go where everybody knows your name. And <laughs> in certain communities, that does happen. You go in, it's like, oh, Alex is here. We kind of know what he's going to talk about, and sometimes not because I'm full of surprises. But <laughs> it works on that same principle. You get to know people, and then when you actually uh, approach them one-on-one, -on -one, it's not weird. Right. Well, thank you very much, Alex, for contributing to uh, educating people about Skype room communities. Oh my goodness, my pleasure. Anytime. I am a Skype super fan and thank you for make thank you for making me a moderator in one of your rooms. 
uh, you know, that's always, that's like an honor, and I'm always up to that. Thank you so much, Alex. All right, take care. So, as we continue, thank you so much for that, Alex. <laughs> Sorry if it was a little bit jerky. Um, social engagement is a huge benefit of Skype, especially Skype rooms, group chats. Skype room groups help grow business, social engagement, and community conversation. You can use Skype to scale up business from just, from just free worldwide video calling to a huge active social network like I enjoy. I have a lot of fun in my Skype. It's hard to get me out on social, as a matter of fact. <laughs> you can instantly interact and build new relationships with like-minded people. Where'd he go? <laughs> How Skype rooms help you. Skype rooms scale up the power of Skype for networking, engaging in conversation, and therefore can build a huge, powerful network, tribe clan of sharers, even evangelists, to help you grow your business. Skype rooms are groups on Skype. Talk to many at once, not just one-to-one. -one. Leverage your time and connections on Skype. Build community in Skype rooms. Quickly build relationships that share, follow, comment, and participate in your conversations on social. Any thoughts you guys want to share so far? Please comment under the event. <laughs> Which social circles are you in? What? Let me continue showing you a little bit more about Skype rooms before we get into what kind of Skype room you might want and prefer and the difference bet differences between Skype rooms. Cloud versus legacy. So there is so much you can do with Skype chat that you can that you really cannot do with any other social media. You can send a message into multiple rooms at once using Skype tools, which you've experienced, haven't you, Carolyn? <laughs> I have to show some of you how to shut all of them all of my notifications off because I have lots of rooms that some of my partners are in. <laughs> so why stop with one room? In Google, you have circles. In Yahoo, you have groups. In Facebook, you have communities. You also have communities in Skype. In Skype, you are only limited by your imagination. These are actually images or pictures or avatars of different social media Skype room communities that I have. The one at the top there is, can you see that okay? It's a different kind of three-headed that's the one that doesn't have a picture. If I can move it down, it's not going to let me. Let's try this. Whee! No. <laughs> it's not letting me. I can't show you. Okay. Come on. Come to Mama. There it is. Okay. So this, this uh, round three-headed one is when you don't add a picture to a Skype room, it does have a logo like that. Otherwise, they have, if I can make it small, they each have their own pictures. Well, you'll see more of them. Want one? <laughs> and you want to learn how to use it? Yeah, remember Skypecast? <laughs> Great, I'm glad you can hear James. So if you want a Skype room, before you dive in, allow me to educate you about Skype rooms. How to choose the best type of Skype room for your specific purposes. Two types of Skype rooms that I want to show you about next. This is brand new with Skype. It's pretty darn new, maybe a year at the most. Cloud versus legacy Skype rooms and what you get by default. But who am I? <laughs> Why should you listen to me? I've been loving and teaching Skype in online social business building since 2003. Happens to be the year Skype was born. I own a membership site at CU on Skype and a Skype directory of rooms and people. 
I love con content creation and helping you with your content creation. I have a very successful YouTube channel where people find me where I want to be found in Skype from my YouTube channel. And uh, my target audience can find me. So I love helping you with content creation, video, anything that can go viral out on the internet. Um, helping you uh, serve businesses with their online presence, fun content creation and video creation for social sharing, and I'm an expert at all things Skype. Skype marketing, I've been the official Skype tool trainer <laughs> for uh, Message Magic, X Sky, Seek and Send, Sky Sponder, um, Pamela, Clownfish, all the Skype tools some of you may know of. And um, also a Skype room community uh, expert, teaching people to use Skype community for expansion, expression, and communication and collaboration, as well as helping people with uh, Skype safety and hack recovery. And lastly, my Skype tips, um, constantly testing changes to Skype and sharing my Skype tips, fresh Skype tips, based on changes in Skype. Um, on my YouTube channel and in my Skype rooms and to my members. Skype room features most of you don't even know that you had and that you probably lost <laughs> when Skype started moving to the cloud about a year ago. So I already to told you who I am speaking to here. I want to speak to all of you who use Skype. I want to speak to the resort owner who um, uses a Skype number to take uh, calls by answering them on Skype. When he advertises online or offline on his business cards, his phone number rings on his Skype. Well, you can use Skype. You're using Skype anyway. Let's get your clients, your best clients and prospects and partners c having a conversation with you in Skype, either privately in Skype lists or in Skype rooms. So I'm speaking to the people that use Skype for just video calling uh, or conference calling. And I'm also speaking to those of you that have rooms or you are a member or a moderator in a Skype room. Okay? you you don't know what you've lost. So I'm about to tell you what are the features of Skype rooms and how you can get them back. Did you know you can allow new people to see the chat history when they join? Did you know you can choose a picture and topic and lock it so that your members um, or people you don't even know that some of your members are dragging in and who might get ha their Skype hacked, so it might be a hacker, they could change your picture and topic. They could add links. They could add ugly things, <laughs> profanity. Um, so you want to lock your picture and topic. Do you know how to do that? It's incredibly easy. Control who joins. Did you know that you can control who joins your Skype rooms? You can control who can post and who can chat if you need to turn one person off or the whole room off. You can take away their chatting rights so that they can't post. Or when they join, you can give chatting rights to the qualified people who join your chat. You can create clickable links so people can join a Skype room from a link in Skype or a button on a web page. You can turn chatting off and on on a schedule, open up a, a community, a, a conversation in a group at a given time instead of leaving it on all the time. You can ban members permanently when you've got a bad fit of a person in the room. Um, kick. Uh, which is what you can do in cloud rooms and with current Skype right now. Uh, if you kick a person out of the room, if they know Skype and a lot of the uh, people who are just monkeying around with Skype, um, you know, they learn a lot about it. They know how to get back in your room. So you want to be able to ban members permanently. 
set guidelines. So you can you can add internal hidden static, meaning it doesn't move up and down the chat, guidelines. And you can add links, resources, not just, I call them room rules and resources or hidden treasure. So you can make guidelines in your Skype rooms. Edit and remove member messages. If you have the right kind of Skype room and moderator Skype, <laughs> you can still edit as well as remove member messages. And I've noticed one of the benefits just got taken away. If you own your own room, you can you were able to edit your messages for like two weeks or maybe even longer, your own messages. But now you can't even edit your own messages in your own room, even if it's the best legacy kind of room even if you edit it instantly. So if you need a version of Skype that's just a little bit older than 7.5 or 6, then uh, get in touch with me. I can help you with that. So, But editing, it's important to be able to edit your members' messages, the people in the room um, who post something that's inappropriate um, or a link that maybe shouldn't be there. Maybe they've got good content in their message, but you don't want their link because they're self-promoting. So you can edit a message and replace it or remove the link or add to the message, the member message. You can still do that if you have the right kind of room. Create a read-only room, which is great for announcements, for news and updates, so the chat isn't moving and people can go there just for the news that they need, for the updates that they need. No chatting or posting, just from the moderators or the Skype room owner. Allow or not allow members to add others. If you don't want your members dragging people in that you don't know yet, you can control that. Or if you do want that because you trust your members, then you can allow that. So you need to know how to do that. These are some of the features that a lot of people didn't realize and there's more. Cloud versus legacy rooms. So now let's get into the different type of rooms. The benefits of legacy rooms and the risks and disadvantages of cloud rooms. Advantages of legacy and risks and downside of cloud rooms. In a moment I will show you how to tell the secret, how to tell the difference between whether you're in or have a, a cloud room or a legacy room. Um, the secret Skype command uh, you can use in any room to tell which you are in, even if the room isn't yours. If you're just a member of a room, you can use this command. But right now, I want to just focus on a few things. If you need to grab a screen share of this, I'm not going to go over everything. It's a pretty comprehensive list. I'm just going to focus on the pros of legacy rooms and the disadvantages of cloud rooms. In a pro, in a sorry, in a legacy room, which is P2P based, at some point I should explain to you. <laughs> let me start. Let me do this now. P2P or peer to peer was the technology that Skype was built on and has lived on up until well about a year ago. Microsoft has owned Skype since 2011, but we didn't start seeing major changes until 2014 last year. And so peer-to-peer -peer or P2P is uh, the, the technology that we had. We're tr Microsoft wants to move Skype to the cloud, okay, to make it more mobile friendly because that's the trend, right? So you need to know that the default rooms, the default Skype rooms are cloud-based rooms. Cloud rooms are not moderated and they are not safe. Uh, legacy rooms are safe for the members of your room. You can control who joins. You can edit and remove message members. You can have creator powers. Um, you can, up at the top on the left, it says accessible by all Skype versions. You can get in legacy rooms with all Skype versions. And um, you can't do that with cloud rooms. Uh, 
you can give moderators the powers that they used to have. You can make somebody a moderator in your cloud rooms, but they have no powers. And you can do all of these things that I talked about, all these incredible features, some of which you may have not realized that you had, for those that have Skype rooms. Uh, you can lock your picture and topic. Um, you can't do that in a cloud-based room. You can have guidelines. You can't do that in a cloud-based room. You can ban people or remove chatting rights from a person or a whole room. If it's an emergency, that's a great way to handle it. If you've got a bunch of pirates in the room that are adding their friends, you don't know, who, you know how to find them all, and they're putting in hundreds of messages, you can ruin a, a Skype room. You can lose your members. You can put a whole room on silence until you get the culprits out, ban them permanently so they can't get back in. You cannot do that with a cloud-based Skype room. You can't stop members from adding people in a cloud-based Skype room. It's not safe. It's easily hacked, and you can't moderate it. You can't do any of those things. Here's an image that I just grabbed real quick and threw in here. Um, you can see the profile of a room. This is a room without a picture. And you can see that the member here, I was viewing this room as a member, not as an owner, has the ability to change the topic and picture of the room. A cloud room allows users to change the topic and picture of the room. And you see that there are no options. You don't get options <laughs> in cloud-based rooms. You get lots of options with legacy rooms. And this is the strangest thing. I don't know if you could see this red box in the middle here uh, where I surrounded what was in the Skype chat in the background. This chat type does not have a creator. Wow. You can lose creator powers even if you created the room yourself. Um, so. We'll just go on to the next slide. I think that's all I want to talk about there. Admin can edit or remove member messages. That means your moderators and yourself as the creator. You can edit or remove member messages in Skype rooms with older versions of Skype. And this is an image of uh, down below. It's You can see a right click. You can, it's an image of a chat, and I right-clicked, and you have in the menu, edit and remove message. If you right-clicked on a member message, and you're the owner or a moderator in a Skype room, if it's a cloud-based room, you cannot do this. Now, they did return remove, but it looks like they're kind of messing with that also. Depending on what version of Skype you have, uh, you cannot edit for sure, or possibly in some versions remove messages. You can't even edit your own messages now. What did I want to say here? Right click a member's message. Yes, in some versions you can right click on a member and make them read only, or you can eject and ban them from the room. Skype room moderation tip. So why are cloud rooms not safe? Did you know that files can be sent into rooms and, and images? It, pictures are probably fine, but people have been able to fake a picture. So the way Skype pictures are visible now, hopefully that's not the case. But be very careful because files sent into Skype rooms cannot be removed. And Skype has now auto Chain automatically change your settings and upgrades to auto accept files after the first file is sent. So be careful about that. The thing that's scary is you may not even know or see a file sent into a Skype room you're not watching. And it can be downloaded automatically. So you can control this. Okay, you can control the setting and you can control who joins, who posts, and when. Give moderators powers and place guidelines, or shut off posting for an entire room at will, but only with a legacy Skype room. How much of that did you guys know? 
How much of that is new? Any Anything you're taking away so far from this? Please leave a comment under the video. How to find out which kind you are in, a legacy or a cloud room. So here's the secret revealed. There's such a thing as a, as a Skype command, a slash command, right? Um, so I'm showing on the left a cloud-based room of how did of the the slash command or Skype command get slash get space name uh, going into a cloud-based room on the left and how the results shown in gray, which is a system message no one else can see, when you put slash get space name in a cloud-based room, the answer is name equals 19. That's how you know it's a cloud-based room. On the right, the way you tell if you're in a legacy room is slash get name shows equals not 19. <laughs> it shows a username. Sometimes usernames are not obvious that it's a username, but if it doesn't, you know, because Skype usernames and IDs are sometimes odd, um, if it doesn't say 19, then it's a legacy room. So yes, you can still create legacy rooms. Let's go on. In summary, cloud rooms, they do nothing for you. <laughs> They are not safe. You cannot moderate them. On the other hand, legacy rooms are safe. You can moderate them and you can give your moderators the powers they used to have. And there are many, many benefits of Skype rooms, especially if they are legacy Skype rooms. So. I'd like to hear some see some comments under the video. Which will you choose, cloud-based or legacy Skype rooms? Any comments, anyone? Which one do you want? <laughs> Leave me a comment. Please engage and have a conversation with me. And again, if this is a recording, uh, uh, if you're watching... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Who went? Okay. Sorry, Julie. That was me. Okay. Hey, you can mute, mute, mute one of those. You can mute the event, or I don't know if that's why you're hearing an echo. But um, and I'm going to ask if we have time. I'm going to ask some of you to come in here, and we'll talk about it after the show. I'm, I may ask Dariosh and Carolyn how they use Skype rooms. But I want to tell you, this is what I want you to do to get more information, to discover more about the many benefits of legacy Skype rooms, Skype rooms in general, how to get one, how to set one up. Um, uh, I want you to subscribe to my Skype marketing list, um, which is not visible here. Maybe it is in the next slide. And by doing that, you can get a strategy session with me, a one-on-one, -on -one, 15 to 20 minute strategy session, so I can get to know you so I can get to know your business better and your real needs. I will listen. Um, you can get invites to new Skype trainings, live and recorded. You can get invites to be a CU on Skype member of mine and to join my member Skype rooms. You can take a poll about Skype room knowledge so that you can learn what you don't know <laughs> about Skype rooms. And you can learn what other people know and don't know about Skype rooms. So take my survey if you come across it. And discover how to use Skype rooms and Skype tools together so that you can send messages into multiple rooms all at once. And build Skype lists, segmented, targeted Skype lists, follow up, uh, and segment your Skype contacts. And a bonus, how to make a legacy room in current Skype. Oh, let me get my clicker in the right place. So if you want my help with legacy room setup, you can either learn to do it yourself or you can have me help you um, and do it, have it done for you. Help is available. And all you have to do to get all of that 
is get my Skype marketing uh, at skypechat.net slash skype dot marketing. That's skypechat.net slash skype dot marketing. To discover more about the many benefits of Legacy Rooms and how to get one, subscribe to my Skype marketing list. Get invites to new Skype trainings, live and recorded. Get Skype marketing. There's the URL again. So tell me, Dariosh, how do you use Skype Rooms for your business? Yes. Talks. One is the general, and one is the private business talks. That, as long as we are work, work, working on a project, have some ideas, start communicating and sharing info, uh, information between the partners, within the developers, or in the security part, talking to my partners or co-workers. Security is very important. And uh, I prefer the legacy version of Skype because of the security features of, uh, of the legacy. and. Uh, we do to our talks on the private rooms. People must join with the password. And it's much safer. For other normal things, other version of the Skype cloud version is OK. But for the private business talks that we talk about the private things, Legacy version is ideal. Yeah, I love what you shared about building touch with your um, with your clients immediately, all at once, instead of going one to one. And how it's better at email delivery than um, or Facebook communication or LinkedIn communication because it's instant communication. So I really appreciate you sharing that. Um, there you go. Sure, you're welcome. But I I don't usually use the email for communicating with the people because uh, they go to the spam folders. I have to after sending each email, I have to contact them in the Skype. Did you receive my message? I sent you a message. It is important. Instead of spending time or for such kind of things, a rework, send, writing an email and sending it, just posting it on a Skype, they receive it immediately. I'm sure that they have received it and they do, it, it doesn't need a follow-up. It's a time saving. Yeah, absolutely. And um, well, thank you for sharing that, Dariosh. Carolyn, um, how do you use Skype rooms and do you have anything you want to share? about using Skype Rooms for your business? Uh, yeah, I use Skype all the time that um, I have my regular work hours. And instead of having a help desk uh, script, I use Skype. If I'm here, I'm here to answer their questions, right? Uh, I teach people how to use their computers, from very basic computers to learning how to put a business on the web. So we have several Skype rooms. We have one that is for our members only, and only members can apply to get in there, and I check their membership at the Internet Niche Lab before they can be allowed in the room. I have rooms that go along with some of the courses that I teach, and if you run into a problem with a course, you can drop in there and ask a question, and we can get it answered. We use Skype. Uh, for various conversations and so we do those to keep them on topic and it, it's like one of my favorite rooms that you have is the introduction room 
That room is open on Monday only and you get a chance to do a press release of something that you're working on or a project that you're working on and other members of Skype who belong to that room can read those press releases and it's one way that you have to get acquainted with people from other rooms. So if you have a room that's an introduction room and I do have one by the way, it's INL Newbies and that's the room that just about anybody can join. They have to uh, ask for it but it's a place where we answer questions about what is the niche lab and why would I want to become a member of it. And so those are just some of the ways that we use Skype and um, of course we use it to get to know each other and sometimes all that is is what the weather's like and to you know yeah you just have somebody to talk to just like they did years and years ago over the backyard fence well we don't have that anymore we have an international community not just a local one so there's my two cents Thank, Thank you, Carolyn. You, Carolyn. Right. Uh, where everybody knows your name. <laughs> right, like a water cooler. I love it. So um, I, if there's any questions, um, we're, we'll answer them in the chat underneath. And uh, for a few minutes, we are at the top of the hour, which means, yay, Julie, I did this in under an hour because I started late. <laughs> Um, I just want to share this one more time for the broadcast and I did put the after show link in the event in the chat <laughs> so yeah thank you so much Carolyn and Dario for being here if anybody wants to come on into the room I did put the after show link into the conversation under the event and um, come on in and let's talk. You won't be on video because I'll end this, but once again, if you want to know more about Skype rooms, if you want to know more about Skype for marketing and uh, get everything that I've talked about, including find out how to tell if you're in a Skype room, how to get Skype, uh, how to get Skype, um, a Skype legacy room, even create, you can even create it from your current Skype, um, Go on over to get my Skype marketing at skypechat.net slash skype dot marketing. That's skypechat.net slash skype dot marketing. Small case is fun. I've just done that visit visually for you. So um, I'm going to stop sharing. Hopefully you've got that address now. Grab a screen there if you want. Fantastic. Thank you, Sis. Go ahead and do yourself. And I just want to say thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, I will see you on Skype. <laughs>